What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Wolf Cry here, and today we're going to be talking about Diablo 3's upcoming Season 17 with Patch 2.6.5. We're going to be talking about my plans for the upcoming season and, of course, the Level with a Cause charity event. So, as most of you know, Season 17 will begin on May 17th and will include the Season of Nightmares theme, which means that you will have the Legacy of Nightmares set bonus buff going at all times, which lets you gain 750% increased damage and some damage reduction for every ancient item that you are wearing, so long as you are not wearing any additional set bonus whatsoever. This is a pretty cool take on the seasonal theme, extending what was started with Season 16's whole Ring of Royal Grandeur buff, and I think it could be a good thing for the game. Now, I do still have some issues with the patch itself, uh, Monk not being updated whatsoever as far as any type of gear pieces or builds being augmented or anything like that. That kind of bothers me a little bit because we've been doing Wave of Light on Monk for quite a long time. I would like to actually do something else. I might do something else if I play Monk this season. Regardless of whether or not it could push to the top of the leaderboards, LON Wave of Light should be the top build for this upcoming season. I do not doubt that whatsoever, but me personally, it's been like six or seven seasons of a Wave of Light build, and I'm not really looking forward to doing that, so either I'm personally going to be playing another class altogether, or I will focus on a Monk build that is not meta. Which is okay with me, I usually do prefer to play non-meta builds for the most part, so I'm okay with that. I do plan on playing Season 17. I want to get back into Diablo 3, I miss it. It is one of my favorite games for sure. I do still enjoy playing other games such as Last Epoch, Path of Exile, etc. I will still be continuing to do the ARPG update series with news on upcoming action role-playing games. But Season 17 really intrigues me because one of my qualms with Diablo is getting to that end game within the first 24 hours. Getting on the leaderboards, getting your full set, and going. One thing that the Season of Nightmares brings to Diablo 3 for Season 17 is that is not the case. Your best build for most classes will not begin to materialize until you start gathering those ancient pieces to build up that Legacy of Nightmares build. And that's pretty cool. That's one thing that... I think the game has been lacking. It is a meaningful endgame that's not just about grinding out that Paragon. Now you have an actual reason to hunt for gear because although you still have access to that Hadrix gift at the beginning of the season, your set is probably not going to be your end game build. And that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome to see. That's one thing that the Season of Nightmares brings and I'm wicked excited about it and can't wait to dive back into Diablo 3. Like I said, it is one of my favorite games of all time. I've played so much. I slacked off a little bit during Season 16 and that's okay. I had other stuff to play. In Season 16, it wasn't the fact that the seasonal theme bored me, but the game overall, I've been playing this game since it launched and I got bored. But overall, I am looking forward to Season 17 and can't wait to dive back in. Speaking of which, Level with a Cause, the charity fundraising event is going to be happening once again. Diablo 3 streamers will be participating in a charity event to support Save the Children, and they do a lot of work with children across the world. And we're always happy to support them, and hopefully this can be a pretty decent sized level with a cause event. We've been doing these for the last six seasons. This will be our seventh event, which is pretty unbelievable. We've raised over $40,000 for charity. Pretty awesome time. A lot of streamers usually get involved. There might be less streamers involved this time just due to the time constraint. Nobody saw season 17 creeping up on us this quickly. We only had a one week notice before Season 17 goes live, and that's pretty crazy. It did not give me a lot of time to get the word out for this event. Hopefully, there will be more streamers signing up. If you want to get the word out to your favorite streamer, feel free. I will be doing a little bit more recruiting as well, and hopefully, we can just raise some money for a great cause. Level with a cause will continue. I will continue to focus on growing it. 
both inside the Diablo 3 community and without, because I do want this to succeed. This is one of the things that, the, no, this is actually the best thing that has come out of my YouTube and Twitch streaming career. And it's pretty much something that I put my heart and soul into. I put a big chunk of the revenue that comes from YouTube into this, into maintaining the website, doing giveaways, donating myself to these charities. And it's something that I want to grow, that I want to succeed. It is the most important part of what I do here. So I hope to see you all in game in Diablo 3. You can definitely hit me up there. Hit me up on my stream, twitch.tv slash wolfcry. If I'm streaming and you want to group up and I'm not currently in a group, hit me up. Let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, get some primals found because hopefully this season will be pretty fun for all of us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I always greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what class you're going to be playing in this upcoming Season 17 in Diablo 3. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so very much, and you all have a fantastic day. Peace.